Hey everyone, it's Marco here from the My Color Screen channel, teaching you everything that you need to know about customizing your Android home screen. So today's video is again all about Thema, and that's simply because there's a lot more Thema users out there, which means that there's a lot more beginners out there trying to get used to custom launches, which is what Thema is. So in today's video, I'll just be giving you some tips and tricks to make that whole theming experience a whole lot better. So without any further ado, let's bring you today's video. So our job here at Thema is to create a theming app or launcher that can easily change your boring home screen into one that is truly amazing to look at and use. Even though we're trying to make this experience as user friendly as possible, for those who don't spend hours on their phone, there still might be a few features out there that aren't so easy to spot. This video, however, will save you the time by explaining some of Thema's nifty and unique features. First up, editing a page. Some people might enjoy simply clicking apply and basking in the goodness of a well-designed theme. But say now, what if you wanted to add in your favorite widget on the next page? Even though Thema is still in beta, it's still very easy to do. Simply hold down on the home screen, select unlock widgets, and just like that, you have the freedom of adding, removing, as well as repositioning widgets onto your various home screens. Once you have your theme tailored to suit your individual needs, hold down again on the home screen and select lock widgets. Simple, easy, done. Now let's take this customization a step further. I like this theme a lot, but now what if I had to change it to another theme? All my effort and hard work would disappear, making me sad and slightly confused. While many theme and beginners may not know this, you can actually save your theme with this easy method. Simply go into your theme settings, select advanced, then select export theme. Now give your theme a funky name with no spaces and then select OK. Theme will then work its magic and now your theme will be there whenever you need it. But now, where do you find it? Simple, just look in your exported section of the My Themes tab and there it is. But now, what happens if you wanted to add an image to this amazing theme? Well, you can do that as well. Simply take a screenshot of your home screen, open your file explorer and rename this screenshot to the exact same name as your theme. Then simply copy it into the directory as shown on the screen. But for those who don't know, you can find it in the My Color Screen folder, then go into Thema, then go into Exported and then go into your thumbs and paste it in there. Voila! If you go back, you can now see that your image will now be there. Easy as that. So that's it for now guys, more tips and tricks coming soon. Please note that Thema is still in beta during the production of this video and these tips might have altered slightly since then. Do you have any awesome tips that we aren't aware of? Let us know in the description below. Also please don't forget to try out Thema if you haven't already. See the link in the description below to get to the Google Play Store link. Also keep up to date with all the latest Thema news and join in on the various discussions in Thema's social communities. Thanks very much guys and girls for watching this video, Marco here from My Color Screen and as always, don't stop customizing.